Hello and welcome to Drake Tarot. Um, this is a reading for Libra and um, it's for February 2020. So let's begin. Okay. Next I'm going to dish out a major arcana for the subject this reading. Libra, it's for Libra 2020, February 2020, Libra, February 2020. So we've got Hanged Man, and we've got the Empress. Hanged Man is all about um, waiting for clarity um, it's about self-sacrifice feeling like you're hanging in midair waiting for an answer and maybe this person that you're waiting for an answer from is the what you consider the empress the empress is um, a mother figure um, She's uh, very in control of her emotions. She's the opposite of the emperor. So she has all the four queens, all the attributes, the intelligence, the emotion, um, the wealth. She is all of them put together. This could be you. This could be um, how you either are seen or you see another individual like this but you're awaiting you're awaiting for clarity on this person okay we'll look more into this now so what i'm going to do is use this um, new era deck <clears throat> so this is for libra for february 2020 Libra, you're waiting for something, aren't you? Waiting for an answer, maybe. The thing is about the um, the hangman that they they do kind of. They're not, it's not a selfish individual, they self-sacrifice. It's almost as if they want the answer to find out how they can um, help, I think. Maybe you want to help this person. You need communication. That's what's coming through. Um, it could be um, a wife, a mother, your mother could be a grandmother it's just someone that you consider a motherly figure and you hire them in a high regard so we're using a celtic cross for libra february 2020 Okay, so um, there's two ways of looking at this, depending on who the Empress is. Um, it could be yourself or it could be someone you know. Um, what I see is um, someone here is feeling powerless. There isn't, um, there's a feeling of not being able to be in control. 
and the obstacle for that was uh, a father of air father of air is um someone who is logical thinking who's quite stern to the point tells the truth um <clears throat> but is quite blunt quite brutal in their decision making and their truths that have been told they don't sort of cover it with um cotton wool um we've got a lot of people here so we've got um well when i say a lot of people we've got three three men maybe maybe men um what you know you've got is the father of air this person is uh reliable sufficient um looks after their their money um make sure it's the money's used wisely um sensible person and um so this is not what you know you've got so this could be your energy in saying that you are self-sufficient you are looking after yourself and your family or your significant other but what you would like to be is the son of fire the son of fire is a bit more um impulsive a bit more um comes to the rescue passionate wants a bit more passion and I think that's um, either he or whichever side we're looking at it, um, either side want the male individual or the female. They need more passion in their lives, I think. Um, maybe this relationship, I think it's to do with a relationship, needs a bit of spark. <clears throat> in the past, there's been devil energy, um, some sort of toxic environment can be um, a card for many things to, from addictions to um, deceit or something um, that had to be forgiven and the reason I know it was forgiven is because in the near future we've got the sun and the sun is um, a happy card happy well-being feeling complete complete fulfillment so that's good that's in your near future your advice card is to give each other com comfort um, be there for each other even though um, this uh, toxic thing happened in the past you need to give comfort to each other and um, how other people look at you is that you you might have both been through quite a, a time of it. There's been some something that had a shock to the system, something that sort of knocked you off your feet. And people see that you may still be suffering from that. I think um might be some healing that needs doing, some... Um, contemplating that's where the hangman comes in hangman's all about uh thinking about things and um learning from the past moving on it's thinking hanging in midair there needs that you need some time to do this and then you can become this empress or the other person Through hopes and fears, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. You hope luck comes to your favour and, um, you know, the wheel turns because the wheel is constantly turning. Ideally, um, you want to be in the middle of the um, the wheel so you don't feel the effects of the wheel turning when something different happens. If you're on the edge, you're going to get turned upside down. You're going to feel the force. Um... This can be a hope or a fear because if it turns for your fortune it's a good thing you know and then if it's bad that's pretty generic <laughs> um for your conclusion you've got um eight of cups on this card here we've got the word despair but the eight of cups generally can be a sign of confusion not knowing where to go not knowing what to choose um being slightly confused with your options so it could be a sign of despair because of this 
don't know which way to turn, don't know where to go, don't know what to do about the situation. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Raider White Date just to ask a few questions about this. <clears throat> I'm going to ask about the devil energy. So I'm going to find out. Remember, this is a general reading and this isn't going to apply to everyone. But the whole point of it is, is that it goes to someone that it's meant to go to. So you might be reading this going, this has nothing to do with me. But there is going to be that one person that views it that needed to listen to this. So please like and surpri um, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> subscribe um if you like it if you like the reading if you think there's more i could do to improve so the devil energy came up with fear of movement wheel of fortune again devil energy i think one of you um had a fear of um, any change didn't want to move just wanted to stay where they were but the other one wanted to move on to move um, to go to different places to travel and I think this caused obviously some tension maybe there's a bit of deception a bit of lying just to keep the other one happy and then the truth came out that um your opinions were different. You both uh, needed a lot of strength for whatever happened. Um, I'm thinking maybe you lost some money. There was some money lost. Someone lost money, maybe gambling. There was a gambling addiction. Um, someone spent maybe the savings or just money that you know was needed and and you needed strength to forgive this person and you did you did or the person forgave you okay can we look at the um eight of cups please and look at what else Libra can do to help with this situation? We've got comfort. We know to give each other comfort, listen to each other, communicate clearly, offer each other love. Don't hold, um, don't be bitter towards each other. I mean, there's love. There's definitely lots of love here. It's just, um... ah, right, okay. So, yeah, we've got the, the Ten of Swords, <laughs> the Ace of Wands, oh, and the Ace of Cups. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so what you need to do, Libra, you need to gain new passion and new love towards each other to get rid of this Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords is hurting both of you and you need to start afresh. Maybe go on a, like, um, treat each other, tell each other something that um, makes each other feel better. Okay? Um, give, give more, okay? Stop receiving and give more. Okay, that could be to either one of you. If you feel like you're giving more, <laughs> then you're not the one that has to give more. You're the one who has to receive. And the person who's listened to this, who's thinking they give more to me, then obviously, I think that's amazing because I love this ace. These two, these are new. It's a new start, a new refresh from what has happened here, from the gambling um, onto the sun, happy fulfillment. You f you're gonna forgive each other. Okay, Libra. Wow, 
fantastic reading. So I think once we go back to um, the original cards that we had about the, maybe it's an apology. They're waiting for an apology, maybe. Maybe a few words of kindness, of sentimentality, something to make you both feel better. Oh, if you've got a family, maybe you need some. Oh, look at that. Look, yeah, the full fresh start, fresh start with each other. Amazing. Right. <coughs> So now, after that lovely good news, we are going to do an oracle card. This one's called, I'll tell you in a minute, oh, it's the earth one, oracle of earth. Oh no, it's not, it's angels and ancestors, sorry, angels and ancestors, this one. So this is for Libra, a bit of good advice for the situation, that whoever's listening to it. This is all um, spiritual advice. There's no, well, there might be practical advice, you never know. But it's spiritual advice to, to know how to feel, to rid yourself of negative energy towards each other, to... Um, refresh the situation press the refresh button sorry I keep on looking the camera it's on one of those wobbly um, iPhone holders they're phone holders and I keep on knocking the table just one card please just one card angels and ancestors this is for Libra February 2020. I think we've got a little gambling problem that needs sorting out. Um, all is forgiven by the looks of it. It's just you need to start rebooting um, the connection, the relationship to get the, the passion back, get the spark flowing back to how it was. Because I think what happened was um, after this, there was a lot of groveling, maybe a lot of forgiveness. Oh, that's too many. A lot of forgiveness needed. But that's okay, you know. People make mistakes. It happens. It's just if we learn from them. We've got to make sure we do learn from them. Otherwise, we end up going back, back and back and back. We never complete the cycle. Until and then... Once you complete that cycle, you can start a new one. I just want one card cards. Just one. I don't want a story book. It will give me one eventually, I'm sure. Give it 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm being patient. Oh, there we are. We got it. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Right, let's get the book. Angels, Stargazer. <clears throat> I'll show you the picture in a minute. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I forgot this book doesn't go in order. Hang on. Bear with me. Stargazer. Here we go. There's a man here, pretty blue eyes and a telescope. Here you go. He's got a robe on. Set your sights higher. Go beyond your limitations and believe that the impossible is possible. Ooh. Do you ever remember wishing on the star when you were a child and in your innocence believing that your wish could come true? The stargazer connects with the energy of the cosmos and reminds you that you have the ability to draw in support from the universe. His cloak with its sparkles and light show that you are closer to the energy of the universe than you think. 
you don't have to go out looking for it. It's already there. So look beyond where you are and create even bigger dreams, visions and goals, because with the power and help of the cosmos, those wishes can come true. Are you on the verge of a miracle? All of your dreams and aspirations are within your grasp and you are being guided to focus on your vision. The angels who are with you are encouraging you. There is nothing that you cannot have or achieve. There's an opportunity on this time to heal an old wound or pattern or lack and not feeling good enough. In the past, you've often found it impossible to recognise your worth and to believe that you are deserving of blessings. Angel and ancestor wisdom is reminding you that you are an incredible infinite spark of the universe and the universe is not only within you, it absolutely adores you. You are talented, filled with strength and have the abilities you need to turn your wildest dreams into reality. Now this message is for the gambler. It's basically telling the gambler, um, you can do more. Um, look to your talents, your skills to gain money. Hoping on um, a lottery or uh, anything, the races, it's, it's not worth the risk. Um, you can do this, be the stargazer. Hope, have hope for the future and you will gain uh, what you need. Look at your surroundings, look at what you have, have blessings for what you have, realise that things aren't as bad as they seem. Sometimes we can get into a mindset of thinking we haven't got all we need, but if you have a roof over your head, food in your belly, and running water from a tap, clean running water from a tap, we are doing very, very, very well. And use your skills to manifest into more. Use your skills this way to gain your fortune. Okay. Thank you very much for listening, Libra. Um, I hope your month of February goes well and I wish you all the best. And thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.